Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome dear students to another tutorial on programming essentials in Python. This is the second tutorial in our series that explains module 4, the use of functions. In this tutorial we are going to focus on function parameters. Basically uh, function parameters are three types that we are going to cover today. In this tutorial the first one is the positional parameters and the second one is the keyword parameters and last one is going to be the default parameters okay we start with the first one we go to the example that we started with the previous tutorial first of all when you create a function by default we didn't add any parameters here okay before we start uh, in your materials in your notes or explanation they call the what whatever you put within the function definition is parameters and what whatever you put here in the function call arguments okay so we are going to explain the difference between them first uh, the parameters here this function as you see at the beginning it doesn't accept anything greetings only but I can just change its name to name it test underscore function and it's going to take three parameters x y and z okay here we need to change the name to reflect the name in the definition and we are going to say test function and here I can send any kind of arguments uh, the, the rule here is since the function accepts three parameters you should have three arguments okay their name should not be the same you need they don't have to be x y and z they could be actually literals like one two three or strings even like Ahmed comma Mustafa comma Muhammad or actually I didn't close this here or anything it could be any any type basically the the only condition is they have to be the same number if you have three up and the definition you should have three here so I'm gonna just write them literals one two three and here I'm gonna print welcome to the course uh, comma x comma y comma z to print them and see the result so why they are called positional argument because as you can see here one went for x two went for the y and three went for the z now if you change their position here if you say y z or let's just reverse them y z x in this case one will go for the Z two will go for the Y three will go for the X okay and to see the results you see it's three two one now it's not one two three anyway even if you put variables I did I didn't put variables just to save time because that way you need to define the variable here and you need to input or you give it a value and we are going to talk about why we need to define it because anyway we are going to take about the variable scope in later videos inshallah so this is why, why it's called positional because the position is matters basically the first one will go to the first variable regardless of the name the second one will go to the second one and the third one will go to the third one so this is about positional argument and since it's done we said let's just it is finished so we can yeah, anyway we can just mark it as okay or done uh, basically uh, okay sorry for that now what about the keyword parameters the keyword parameters actually they are not like positional parameters they are not going to be determined by the position uh, what I mean is uh, we are going to send x equal 10 comma y equal 20 and comma z equal 30 now these are keywords arguments so when I go here and say x y and z even if the position is z y x they're gonna be printed 10 20 30 they should be printed 30 20 let's just make it 3 to 1 like before so you not get confused okay so with positional parameters it should be printed a 3 to 1 but now with keyword parameters it's gonna be printed 1 to 3 even though x at the end why because here I said x is gonna be 1 but in this case of oh, this use of parameter you need to use the same name so the parameter name and the argument name must be identical okay I'm not talking about their data type because basically Python can take any data type so whatever you put here it's gonna go there okay not like C++ you are gonna say integer you are gonna just say X so the data type is not very important here basically whatever you put it's gonna be sent 
so this is the difference it's not related to the position so it's re it relates to the name so the names must be identical so if you put here a you might say but I don't want them to be uh, XYZ I want them to be a B C so what's going to be the result now you see it's an error because there is no ABC you have sent X Y and Z so they have to have a matching X one A Z okay if you don't have the keyword and if you don't put them like this you see if you don't put them like this and you define X equal Y equal Z equal 1 they're gonna be all one no problem with that uh, this is a short notation to give them the same value you see they they are not necessarily the same name as we explained in the positional arguments but when you put a value to them they're gonna be a keyword argument and they're gonna be and they have to be to exist in the function definition also okay so this is basically the second type of parameters that we want to cover and we can mark it as done now the last one is going to be the default parameters and the default parameters means that the function definition will have a default value for the parameter as soon as we define it so for example I'm going to say a equal 1 b equal 2 and c equal 3 uh, why this is very important because uh, very useful because in this this way you don't have to send variables okay it is very similar to the print function if you remember when we used to print directly any name okay without needing to write the end and the separator because end and separator are default parameters if you if you assign them they're gonna take the value assigned if not they're gonna take the default variable here so in this case if I sent ABC values they're gonna take the values you sent if you didn't send them like that they're gonna be one two three so I'm gonna just say a comma B comma C okay and I will print one two three you see but if you send two three four or five they're gonna be two three five now the rule here or the guideline here do you have to put all of them default variables no you don't have to put all of them default variables but if you remove the default you should start from the beginning in other words the default value must be always at the end not at the beginning so this way it's okay you are saying that the third variable is that the third value is default so for example if you don't send it it's gonna be 233 you see but if you send it it's gonna be 2313 now what if you didn't send the values all of them you're gonna have a, a syntax error of course you see why because uh, you have here two parameters and you have here no parameters okay now I said always the default parameter should start from the end so this is also okay but you cannot say this you cannot say uh, B and C this is okay default parameter so I'm gonna just send one this is not gonna work and you see when you execute you will never you will not even get a result it will tell you here non default argument followed or follows default argument so non default must not follow non argue non default should be always before the default okay so you have to remember this all the time again you can mix variables if you want you can say of course I want here to be x equal 1 comma y equal 2 comma 2 and above of course you here you are gonna get errors because there is no X and Y here and 2 okay anyway you should uh, first of all remove this because this is gonna be wrong so I'm gonna just say equal 100 by default if I didn't send it and then I'm gonna say okay fine I will say X equal 1 y equal 4 and when I execute it's gonna tell me an error uh, or produce an error because there's no X and Y now if you change it to A and B because they are keyword they, sh they should exist here they are gonna print 1 4 and 100 okay that's it for function parameters hope you enjoy the video thank you very much have a nice day and see you in next tutorial inshallah